Oh, we're live on Instagram. Oh, oh now we're live on Facebook too. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. That means it's cocktail chat time instead of coffee chat time. We've got the Mariah Carey playing. We're going to play for a couple seconds and we're done playing that. <laughs> so good morning. We've got some good techno beats in the background. Who is this DJ? Where's Brecca? Boris Brecca. And it's funny because he's wearing like a Christmas sweater. But anyway, I've got my special guest here, Frankie from New York City, here to join me on our annual cocktail chat. Yeah. Because I know that you enjoy these so much. How are you, Frankie? I'm well. How are you? I need more coffee. <laughs> Let's get this girl some more coffee. But we're here today. We're going to make a couple of different drinks. One is an actual cocktail and one is a mocktail for the non-drinkers out there. So I will be making a pomegranate spritz. What will you be making? Uh, we all <laughs> Give me one more. Hers looks so, so good. A coconut Christmas mojito. Coconut Christmas mojito. And they both look delightful, refreshing. Um, something for everybody. One's more creamy. Yes. And one's more like fruity, lighter, crisper. So do you want to make yours first? Sure. I need to get the coconut milk. Okay. She's got to get the coconut. I did forget the coconut milk. So we've got all sorts of goodies. We have two different types of rum. Um, and don't do what I did. I thought that I got coconut rum, but apparently this is just regular white rum. Coconut rum is your Malibu. Um, and that's what you're going to need for her drink. So we're going to make your drink first. I'll make coconut milk. I'll make a virgin part of that. These are not going to stay. Could I make a virgin? Can I make this one virgin? Um, half the drink is rum. So if you want just coconut milk. Yeah, I guess I can make this one virgin. Never mind, this one won't be virgin. You, you had like the <laughs> NA rum, but I guess. Oh, what if? Okay, so for you non-drinkers out there, I did find they have these mixology. I don't know if you can see that. It's a pre-made cocktail. This one happens to be an orange old-fashioned. No, that would not mix well with coconut. Orange um, old-fashioned. I guess I can try it just for funsies. But anyway, um, I did have one of these similar things in, where was I? DC recently, the bar. Anyway, they had a, um, in a version of a old fashioned and a old, uh, mojito. Oh. I think that's what it was. It was really good. So mixology, they make a bunch. They actually also make, um, versions if you guys are watching can you hear us because we've got the beats in the back and i don't know if it's overpowering or not beats aren't even that loud i feel like back. we're like in the club have dad check i feel like doing the robot or something oh no <laughs> don't do that <laughs> Ew, no. And anyway so mixology they also have um uh in a tequila in a whiskey and in a there was one other one oh gin so if you want to do these kind of drinks, but you don't want to drink alcohol, they have those. Um, the lady at the liquor store said you can get them off Amazon, apparently, and just order them online. So just so you know that piece of information. Also, why she's getting this ready. Um, if you like the taste of beer, which I actually do, Athletic Brewing makes a delicious NA beer. They make all sorts of kinds. This particular one is for you fitness people, health conscious Um very low carbs. I think this one's only five grams of carbs in this can. Really good, really light, refreshing. But anyway, Athletic Brewing Company, they're out of San Diego. They make a bunch. They make a really good hazy IPA. Um, so I would definitely... Oh, Precious. Precious likes our video. What's that Precious? Is in the house? Um, and yeah, so here's the... Yeah, here's the hazy IPA one. Oh, did you get lime? It's really good. Uh, lime. Lime juice. It's right there. Oh, I don't know why I just grabbed one. But oh. Okay. <clears throat> I need to go rinse them. But we also have orange. And then, if you like wine, um, free, I don't know if it's free or free, they make a non-alcoholic wine. I particularly like the rosé version just because the red tastes like grape juice too much, and this actually tastes like a rosé. So if you like rosé, definitely recommend this one for you non-drinkers out there. Um, but as you're watching, if there's a favorite holiday drink that you like to get, um, we have Dark Harpers here in Billings. They make really, really good 
a bunch of cocktails, especially for the holidays. So anyway, what she's doing right now, what are you doing? Talk us through it. getting mint. Getting yeah. mint. So this one, okay, what ingredients do we need? We need mint, mint lime. coconut milk, skipping mint lime, simple lime, syrup, simple syrup, coconut rum, coconut white rum, rum, white rum. Don't do what I did. I accidentally got her <laughs> this rum last that night. Because it says parrot bay, and I was like, hey, parrots. It's kind of funny. It would have been an ugly beverage. But I didn't mm -hmm. know that she needed clear rum. I didn't I pay attention. Rum. I didn't pay attention. I don't pay attention. I just look and I'm like, rum. Okay, perfect. So, <laughs> did your reindeer lightnings fall off? You look well, so no, cute in those. When I'm looking down, it's not going to oh, stay. Yeah. It's kind of heavy. Okay, mint leaves. Oh, so, mint put, leaves. She's mint putting the mint leaves, leaves at the bottom. I finally got some new classic glasses last night, you guys. You know, I'm going to try to be classy with them. <laughs> okay, so mint leaves, coconut milk. Lime, lime juice or lime? Either. Use, Either. Use a regular lime. Uh, so it's just the juice. It's not the actual lime that you need. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, fresh is usually like better. Fresh is best. Tracy's watching. I can hear you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Tracy. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Make sure. Guys, I, I was going to. Okay. So here's the story. What did you get me to squish? Oh, the bottom of this. Will that work? Uh, yeah. Okay. We don't have a masher. Mm -hmm. um, Muddler. What is it called? To muddle it. A muddler. We don't have a muddler. Do you have a shot glass? So we're measure? making our own muddler. Can you use this? Do you know how much? How much that's, a that's a shot. It's a shot. How many ounces is a shot? Two ounces. Can you? How many ounces is a shot? Let's go with that. It doesn't matter. It does matter because <laughs> I don't want to put a bunch of simple syrup in it. <laughs> this looks about like a shot, right? That's usually the shakers. I know, but you know how many ounces it is. I don't know. I can see if I, you know what? One second. I think I might have a little bit. I just checked. Chat BT. Oh, here, here, here. Here you go. Typically 1.5. Typically 1.5 fluid ounces. That's a lot of simple syrup. Yeah. Five ounces of simple syrup. I actually have this cool nifty little measuring thing that tells you. Oh, perfect. Boom. Nice. That's better. I'm okay. actually more prepared than I thought. That's a lot of simple syrup. No. Just do your own thing. Thing for five do ounces. Your five ounces. Yeah. It's in five, one drink. Five ounces simple syrup. Maybe do half. Maybe do half. Taste, taste this. Syrup. This. What? What can I help you with? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I'll just dance. Perfect. <laughs> well, let's talk about Sticky. New York. Let's talk about New York way you're making oh, your drink. The cap is sticky. So one thing that I learned in New York is being there around the holidays is insane. And it's not even Christmas when we were there. We were there Thanksgiving. Right? Yeah. I'm just going to do two ounces. Two even ounces. Feels like... Wait, wait. Don't you want to put in the shaker? No. This part, I muddle it. You have to have the oh, syrup. Okay. I'll let you know when I need Okay. So talk them through it. So you're going to pour the simple syrup. Well, give me a second. I thought you were going to talk up. about New York. We are as we're doing this. You're all over the place. You're doing. Wait, hold on. That's my life. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So pour that in there. Just pouring the simple syrup. Onto I am the not mix. really following the recipe because okay. they said five ounces, and that's a lot. That's like under two. What is simple syrup? Is it just straight up sugar? Um. Well. Or is it corn syrup or something? It is. Water, sugar. Water yeah. and sugar. Rock candy syrup. Citric acid. No. Citric acid is probably just a preservative. Hello, everybody that's on Instagram. So instead of, in place of a muddler, I'm using this. Oh, I need to put lime in it. <laughs> Hold this, please. Uh, okay, I'm holding the makeshift muddler. One ounce lime juice. See, that's more. One ounce lime juice is next. That's more realistic. This is what we got so far. Wait, you don't put any of this in the shaker? Not yet. Oh, okay. I gotta dump this. Now. Okay, she's gotta dump that. So anyway, New York. It's crazy during the holidays. We went Thanksgiving, and we went to a cool rave. Went to a cool rave. Who was the DJ again? Eric Pritz. Eric Pritz. He has a cool like hollow. hologram show where things like come at like they come at you like this on the screen. It's trippy. Okay, so this is an actually, ounce of lime. Oh, an ounce of lime juice. 
What's next? I actually got sick. I got sick. The lights. Highly recommend wearing glasses, plain glasses for that light show. Okay, she was making fun of me. I was I making fun. I was like, why are we wearing sunglasses? To a dark grave. <laughs> really quickly. I don't think this is gonna work. What do you? What else do you need? Uh, if you have anything wider to match it with, we're gonna make this work. We'll make it work. I don't know which camera to point this at. No, knife definitely will not work. It'll ruin your glass. This is fine. Oh, how about the, how about the of it? Yeah, that'll work. The bottom of the pumpkin. Harbor thing. Where can we set this? Here? Yeah. A lot going on on my side. I know. There's a lot. Uh, okay. Is this clean? Yes. Of course it's clean. My stomach is growling. Somebody, somebody, is, show is, somebody is still watching us on Instagram. I don't know who it is. <laughs> if, you're still, if you're still watching us, comment if your favorite holiday, holiday drink. Oh, it's flash. She's muddling it. Just don't cut yourself. Oh, yeah, I know. Muddling it with a knife on the end is super safe, probably. Okay, is this mint? This is what mint looks like. I squish it more. Have you never seen mint before? What? I think I have. I've seen basil. You've never seen mint like, before? It looks like basil. Isn't mint good for your stomach? Uh, Yeah, for nausea. I don't know who doing this right. Full it's it's okay. I have never it's made like we're getting paid to do this. We're not professional. We're doing uh, it for funsies. Oh man. Okay, so I'm watching a TikTok video to try to watch the recipe right now, and I have to restart it like 50 different times. <laughs> Just so you know, you can get cocktail recipes off of TikTok. We actually each got one off TikTok. So also where I got my mac and cheese recipe for Thanksgiving. Yes, you get a, you learn a lot of TikTok, and they were trying to ban TikTok here in Montana. I don't fortunately, think they were actually gonna do that. fortunately, it did not pass. Anyway, so we get to keep our that. TikTok. <clears throat> okay, um, that's how I learn things. Okay, what's next? One ounce rum. One ounce rum. Okay, what kind of rum is this? A clear silver, silver rum, white rum, white rum. I didn't know that there was difference. I thought all white rum was coconut. <laughs> well, no, because you've got this one too, and I said white rum. I I just thought you should say regular rum and she coconut. She is colorblind. That's what I heard you say. Okay. One ounce. Cranberries are really tart. Of that. Ah! One Pretty ounce. of Malibu or any other coconut flavor, but make sure it's clear because it's necessary or else the drink will look ugly. What are you looking at? Uh, Suzanne says, I'm, <laughs> I gotta put this on the screen. This is hilarious. She says, I'm bringing you a muddler next month, Billy Perry. Didn't even make Thanks, drinks. Suzanne. <laughs> I obviously, like, I don't do this very often but i could use a muddler apparently um i'm gonna see suzanne uh in dc soon for narla Ooh. yeah fellow narla all right this is coconut milk okay coconut, coconut milk down. i got unsweetened just because i don't know why oh man we weren't prepared i figured maybe less sugar yeah. After we just well, poured I, three ounces of simple syrup. Well, that's syrup. fine, right? We got all this sugar already. Why add more sugar? Oh, I'm adding so. even more sugar to make it look better. Okay, so it looks like there's six people watching us on Facebook. If you are watching us on Facebook, comment. <laughs> I was trying to show it to the camera, but I should probably just like stand. No, you can hear. I'll hold it. No, because it's okay. so full. Comment your favorite holiday drink or just drink. One and a half ounces of coconut milk. This is necessary for the color. This is the color. It makes it white. It makes smell. I actually might add more coconut milk, possibly. I don't know. You got to see first. You gotta make sure so, you and you're making this gonna, all in this cup, yes. not in the shaker. Just trust the process, please. Okay. Oh, we, see, I need we just a little lost, bit more. We just lost four people when I said that. They're like, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more coconut milk. A little bit more necessary. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Shaker time. Shaker time. Yeah. All right. So she's put all the all of the ingredients yeah. so far. Okay. So far, uh, so far, I think it's a little green looking, but we'll see. Seems a little green. She's gonna put it in the shaker. I just bought this new shaker yesterday, so I can be all classy. Should I put a little bit more ice in it? Sure. We were actually prepared this time with ice. Oh. All right, so I'm just going to pour all this into the shaker, and then I'm going to prepare the glass. Oh, Suzanne commented. She says, favorite holiday drink, champagne or sparkling juice with candied cranberries. What's a candied cranberry? Uh, cranberries are pretty sweet when you sugar them already. How do you do that? Uh, oh wait, hold on. So well, here's a regular cranberry. Oh, do you, you have a plate? sugar on it? I'm kind of curious I'm what a candied cranberry is. Do tell. Do tell. What is a candied cranberry and how do I get them? How do I make them? Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay. I got it. Oh, man. Wait, oh, man. Oh. We're never prepared. Ever. Ever. But. I know the bells jingling. So I know it's like I could jingle bells, bells. jingle bells. <laughs> oh, yeah. To prepare the glass, so okay. we're avoiding sugar, but I'm about to use a lot of sugar to okay. make this look nice. Okay. I'm gonna put a touch of lime juice on the touch, plate to try to get it to stick, and then basically rimming the glass. Just rimming the glass. Remington. I feel like I should be like a. What do you call that a? What do you, what do you call that? Fork, not forecaster. Broadcaster? Inter announcer? Announcer? What? She's now rimming the glass. Okay, so I'm just. I put some lime juice and some sugar, and then I'm going to take the cup and I'm going to get some on the okay, rim. You can't see this, but what she's doing. She has a plate. She put lime juice on the plate, then put sugar on it. Now she's rimming the glass. She's getting the lime juice on the corner to make it sticky, and then I'll put some dry sugar on it. She's making it sticky. And then I'll rub it into the chin to get it stick. Oh, it looks nice. Looks like snow. Looks like beautiful snow. I'm trying to just make it look frosty. Do you have a napkin? Do you give me a yes. napkin per chance, ma'am? I realize I'm like not at all on the Instagram one because I'm tilted over. Suzanne says, I'll send much. you the recipe. Perfect. Thank you. Too much on this. Too much. Okay, so okay. good enough. Looks a little bit frosty. Oh, yeah, basically. Okay, so then I'm going this is not to really Christmas music, but it kind of works. It's Christmas music. It's like Christmas rave music. Oh, my God. With um, the bells shaking. For the tech, the techno, the techno lovers, the techno lovers in your life. Okay. Okay, a little bit. Our cat's trying to help us. Okay. You're not helping, Morty. And then I feel like it's just, it looks interesting. You know what? I you know what would be fun to be one of those bartenders like the movie cocktail <gasps> where they dance. Like uh, I don't know what movie you're talking about. Cocktail with Tom Cruise? You've never seen Cocktail with Tom Cruise? That seems like your fault since you raised me all. I mean it is kind of what 80s, kind of 80s movie. I'm sure most people that are watching, the one person that's still watching, <laughs> knows the cocktail movie. All right. Ooh, that looks pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I like it. And then we're going to garnish. That's so funny. I was almost going to take a sip, and I was like, oh, yeah, it has alcohol on it. <laughs> Dork. Okay, so we poured that in, and then we're going to garnish it with some more mint. going to garnish it with more mint. And do you have cranberries? Could you open it? I do. And then also cranberries. Oh. Dropping everything. Oops. Good thing it wasn't open. We're dropping everything. Oh, oh. Gotta run. Merry Christmas, Suzanne. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Trying to find pretty mint, please. Got here. Okay. 
Here's your cranberries. Wonderful. I kind of feel like cracking open my orange cocktail in a. Do it. I kind of want to try. I've never tried it yet. This particular one. 50 calories, which a, a typical cocktail has how many calories do you think? Uh, depends on that cocktail. Oh, this is looking pretty. See, okay, so one thing about the difference between Frankie and I, she's more, what would you call it, particular? <laughs> I'm just like, throw it all together. <laughs> and she makes it look pretty and nice. And what I'm about like, the presentation. Oh, this is get it done. And I learned something about myself today. Oh, wow, that looks cute. So I took um, a disc assessment. We had to take another one for Nyla. And uh, I took one two years ago. That was an IV, which is like influencer and then dominant. This time I took it, I'm just straight, straight up dominant personality. Interesting, right? All right. <laughs> so we took this. She's like, all right. OK, show it, show it to the camera. Oh, right. how pretty that looks. You can't really see it, I don't think. And then you can't see the top where the cranberries right. are. That's what's really cute. So I'm going to just, she's putting in the sugar on it. Make Ooh, it look like snow. That looks of. nice. But I'll take a picture Yeah, and take show. a picture of it. And we'll put it in the comments so you can see how pretty Hold it looks. On. I want wow. the mint to rest a little bit better. That looks really pretty. I know I can't really angle. There. Angle the camera. Okay, one second. I wonder if I could angle the Instagram. Well, I'm just going to take so a picture on my phone and show the people. Okay, so she's going to show the people that oh way. Good. Uh, good morning. Diana, Grandma's watching. Good morning. Sorry. Okay, that looks nice. we got to get rid of this plate. It doesn't need to be an aesthetic picture. It's just to show. It looks pretty. It looks really, really pretty. But how does it taste? Can you see that? Oh, yeah, you can see that. that looks nice. That looks so cute. And that took you how long to make? Let's see. I don't know. You went live at 10. Well, it's probably about 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes. Oh, I try got straws. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try it out and see how good it is. Okay, let's try. While you're doing that, I'm going to pour me some of this mixology. Try it out. Ooh. I'm just curious. We gotta bring the no, we gotta bring dad out here. He has to try it. It definitely smells like it definitely smells like alcohol. Did you double check that it's in any? Oh yeah, I looked at it like three times just okay. to make sure. That's like my worst nightmare. Do you want a straw for that? See, non-alcoholic. Do you want a straw for that or um sure. Okay. Why not? Let's get festive with it. Did you poke it up? Oh my god. That's why we're losing viewers. <laughs> the dancing? <laughs> the dancing. Okay. Ooh. That definitely tastes like an old fashioned. That's pretty It's good. crazy what they can do. This is pretty good. With flavors. Is it good? Yeah, we what's need it, dad to come. What's taste it taste like? Is Coconut and minty? Coconut mint. Ooh, I like that. And a little bit of lime. Kind of beachy. Yeah, beachy. That's so cute. Thank you. Wait, get a picture of it with the straw in it. Okay. It's too cute. I'm so trying. Cute. Okay, so I cute. Didn't. I wasn't. Okay, we got to We got to have our taste tester try it. Frank. Oh, he just. Frank. I'm just gonna get our taste tester because I can't taste it and give you. Um, He's gonna come out. Come He's gonna try it. Okay. What's next? My drink. All right. So we've got our cup. I think mine. I actually making the mixer. So she's gonna have to rinse this up. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. <laughs> All right. We got. We got. Frank here to try our, our drinks. Oh, wow. Look this at that. This is actually a alcoholic drink. <laughs> Give it a try. What this is one, this one called? Uh, this is a Christmas coconut mojito. Christmas wow. coconut mojito. Look at the presentation here. Thank you. Wow. It's very pretty. Take a sip of the straw. Thank Smells you. delicious. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Is it good? Very good. Is it good? Very good. Yeah? Would you order that at a bar? 
yourself for Christmas. I would. Okay. Boom. Yes. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Good mm -hmm. job. Woo -hoo. Wow. All right. We'll bring you out I'll make for you, make you another win. drink here in a second. Oh, wow. I'm okay. Sounds good. But mine doesn't have alcohol in it. <laughs> Do you want to rinse this out? Yeah. And then I'll make mine. Okay. So mine calls for pomegranate juice, which is... I picked up this one. I'm sure if you like cranberry, you can probably get cranberry fun pomegranate. Um, orange juice. Oh, I need my orange juice. We got my orange juice out of the fridge. Huh? Orange juice. Yeah. And then honey. Um, I'm actually going to use this to give it a little bit of an alcohol flavor. Uh, it's a bourbon infused honey. I actually got it in uh, where? Where did I get it? Bozeman, Bozeman, Montana. It's actually really good. Thank you. And then I also need, so you can use a gin alternative. They didn't have it at the store here, so we're going to just skip that. But you could use a gin alternative, which is enough gin. Sarah is watching. What's up, Sarah? This is happy holidays. Which Sarah? Is it my Sarah, Sarah Prescott. Yeah. yeah. yeah Cheers, Sarah. Um, and then club soda. This is what I need I'm going to start mine. moving my stuff so you have more room. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. So what do I need? I need two ounces of pomegranate juice. Where is that? I wonder if we should rinse this out since it has alcohol in it. Yeah, we should. That has coconut milk in it, too. Oh, yeah. I'm going to yeah. rinse this out. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to have a little bit of coconut milk in, the, in a drink. All right. So this. So we've got... Pomegranate juice. I'm gonna open that now. This anything, I guess they really this thing's kind of like a healthy drink because pomegranate is healthy for you, right? Uh -huh. Pomegranate has healthy like benefits. Yeah. Okay, so we got it's not awful for you. Two ounces of pomegranate. Do we have ice in there? Not yet. Okay, we're gonna put some ice in here. Okay, we're gonna pour pomegranate juice in the mixer. I also need the orange yeah. juice. Oh, and let me tell you what. My orange gosh. juice. I keep dropping stuff. It's expensive. Inflation. I mean, everything is expensive, but orange juice is just like gold. Good old inflation. Okay. Let's see. Put it make, in your ears back. Mixing it up, ladies. Yeah, we are. Can you hear the tunes in the back? <laughs> I feel like I need a glow stick. I feel like I need a glow stick. <laughs> it's a techno. glow stick. Uh, I didn't even hear it. Grandma says, where did the big tree go? He'll be back. He will be back. <laughs> the big tree will be back to try my drink. <laughs> Don't you worry. You don't stay on my head. How do you get them to stay on your head? I don't know. It just does. You have a big head. I do have a big head. Okay. And then um, half ounce of honey, which honey is always like kind of a pain. So I'm just going to like... Kind of, uh, guess. We're gonna guess how much honey that's. So we're gonna do that. It smells so good. Oh, Merry Christmas, beautiful. Oh, Merry Christmas to you, Lynn. Good to see you. Oh, oh that is very cool. Oh. I'm loving your outfits. It has a strong bourbon. And the now. elf and the Santa with reindeers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to ruin my hair with the head. I know. Okay, so club soda, it just said to top it off. So I guess you kind of just decide how much club soda, but I guess since, <laughs> it's ah! since we're not <laughs> who shook this. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you shake that? No, I should have. That was a good idea. Oh, wow. Shaking, not stirred. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Okay, we're going to have a mess going on. Okay. That's taking a bit. Jesus, that's really bubbly. Yeah, it is. Okay. Eh, it's like a volcano. Did you ever do before. that? Did you ever do that in um, school where you took was it Mentos, Mentos and Coca Cola and I went? <laughs> yeah. There's like absolutely nobody on Instagram. Where are the Instagram people? Nobody uses Instagram these days. Nobody uses Instagram these days. Hardly. Um. 
slay, slay queens. We're slaying. Enjoy your time with your daughter. Thank you. Top the cap next time, Lynn spends. Okay, good. What? Time. Top the cap. Or tap, top the cap, top the cap. Okay, so I'm gonna pour some club soda in there. I guess that's what gives us a fizz. I don't know. All right, what else should I put in there? We got pomegranate, orange juice, honey. We don't have a gin alternative. And then the garnish. Okay, so this one's actually pretty quick and easy. So we're gonna put the top on. Okay. This is actually quite good. Is it? Shake, 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 Genora. Shake your body like. Shake, 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 Genora. Oh, I'm making this. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. You didn't close it all. Why are you shaking it like that? Alrighty. <laughs> We're going to pour it in. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. Hmm. It's so beautiful. Not that pretty. I don't remember what it's supposed to look like. Anyway. All right. So you got your drink. And then this one tells you to add time. But I like the look of rosemary better. It looks more like a Christmas tree. It does. So we're going to add. This smells, this smells so good. Okay. So we're going to add the rosemary twig to drink. Like that? Is that how we do it? Looks good. Like what are you doing? Frankie, your drink looks way better than mine. <laughs> and then we got to add, we got to add, so this one tells you to either add pomegranate pro. Did you put ice in this cup? Yeah. No, I just put the ice in oh, there. Well, ice usually helps the garnish sit. Oh, here. But it's all good. Yeah, see? Oh, okay. Um, but I'm going to use cranberry because I could find a little pomegranate. Pomegranate. Sarah, Sarah with... Sarah, yay! Thanks, Sarah! <laughs> she says your Insta people have arrived. I've on Facebook before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Sarah. Oh, yeah. Way to support us. Okay. So, how many cranberries should you put up there? Make it look like three because oh. then it looks like um, mistletoe. Or not mistletoe. Yes, mistletoe. Okay, so mine isn't as pretty, but it could be because I actually don't know why. Because what were you doing with that? <laughs> <laughs> and then you put an orange slice in there. That's pretty. That's kind of cute with it's a little pretty. orange. Wait, do I put it on the side? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. It's pretty. All right, so there is my finished product. Sure, Did you guys get slide. Santa to DJ? Yeah, he's in the back. He's DJing. Can you hear it? I'm DJing. Can you hear the music? I'm Santa. Oh, yeah, you're Santa. And That's I right. Yeah, DJing. Santa is the DJ. But anyway, look how pretty that is. I can't really see the cranberries, but. All right, so it's time to taste it. Let's see if it. Oh, my straw. I need a straw. All right, so I'll try this straw. No. Oh no. It's not it. It's not it. Can I taste yours? <laughs> oh no. No. No, I don't like it. I don't like I'm it. I'm scared. I don't it needs something. Hey Travis is watching. What's up, Travis? He's in the house. Hmm. Heck yes, DJ Santa. It's an interesting player. I don't like it. What does it need? It, it needs something. <laughs> Um, Maybe don't make this one. It's not great. Okay, we need dad. It's not to come very in. good. Big tree. We need big tree. Yeah, Travis, you. keep watching because you gotta see Frank. He's gonna come out and taste test our drink. Stop. He's we coming. He's coming. Hold on. Get the tree on. Get the tree on. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Needs the Christmas spirit. Yes. AKA big tree. We need the big tree. Oh God, this is not good. I don't know if it's maybe it's too much orange juice. Mm, no. All right, big tree, gonna try out. This is Travis is watching. So make sure you say hi to Travis. Hola. Police not be dark. Try, try. Oh wow, this looks interesting. So this Festive, uh, but with pomegranate spritz. Okay. Non-alcoholic. Right. Travis, okay. you well, don't do this one. 
gross. It doesn't look quite as pretty as the other. I know Travis doesn't drink either. <laughs> okay, so it's not as pretty, it's but not, and it, it looks drinkable. Taste as pretty either. Oh, oh. Trust me. Oh my God, he said. <laughs> not bad. It's not good. Not bad. It's not good. Not bad. Not bad. Def, I've had better in a cocktails, and that's not it. I mean, it's it's refreshing. No, it's not. But it's um, not super tasty. It's not. It's not super <laughs> tasty. Maybe. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, wait, wait, try, wait, try this. This one again. You got. Wait, wait, you got. Give okay. me the sugar. Try, I'm this, try this. What is this? Just try. It. Just see what you think. Okay. <laughs> It's not bad. Not bad. You know what that is? What? Travis, you'll appreciate this. It is a mixology in a cocktail. It's um old fashioned old fashioned in a can, but it's non alcoholic. Boom. Okay, yeah. so I just want to know who's the guy. Yeah, well obviously you did. Mm. <laughs> this one no question. This one reminds me of Christmas and <laughs> It looks pretty, everything good, and it tastes good. And this one reminds me of some hard times. <laughs> but <laughs> thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Get, give me. a hand, and I take this after. Frank never, never yes. makes it on camera. This is the first. This is his first coffee this chat. Is, <laughs> He's actually not wrong. He's not wrong. It's like a drink gone wrong. It really is bad. It doesn't taste the worst. No, it's I've bad. Certainly, I've certainly had worse. It's really, really bad. But I don't know what was in that again. Can we? Po okay, so pomegranate orange juice. I think it's the orange juice where it went wrong. Pomegranate orange juice, um, club soda. Uh, maybe the pomegranate. Really? And. You're, well, you're supposed to have a gin alternative in there, so maybe the gin is supposed to kind of. I have a gin would have helped. Uh, <laughs> Travis says, dude, that was ridiculous. <laughs> it, it was good, but it was amazing. Anyway. Okay, gross. Mm, I can't even drink that. I'm going to just go back to this. Yeah, I wish you could taste this. Ooh, I know, it looks really good. It looks really good. I have to so, find you some NA rum. I am. How many more of these till my one year? Let's see. Stop drinking on the 28th. So coming up, coming up soon, you guys. It's gonna be <laughs> one, <laughs> one year. No alcohol. I said thank you, big tree. Also, who Woo! said that? Who said thank you, big tree? Sarah. Oh, thank you, big tree. Um, so we got a few minutes. Let's, let's talk about our experience in New York. <laughs> we were there for Thanksgiving. Well, the family took on New York. Tell them about and how they are little, that lost. They're little city folks, and they gave me a heart attack because I worked from home one day that I wasn't with them. One day, and I was nervous, and they went out on the town, um, and I gave them specific directions to get to Central Park. They made it to Central Park. We did. We they refused them. to use Google Maps to figure out how to get anywhere, even though it's the best in New York. gets you anywhere easily. And I'm watching their location because I have a location, and I'm a little stalker on their way home from Soho, and I told them just go uptown on any of the yellow lines, two stops, two stops, <laughs> just two, uptown. <laughs> and then you go to Union Square, and then you're gonna transfer the L. And it's been a while, and I haven't heard from them. And I look at her location, and she had gone eight stops downtown, and was at the Whitehall Ferry Station, which is at the very tip of Manhattan, about to cross over into Brooklyn, and on the wrong part of Brooklyn. And I'm way up here. And they wrote eight stops down. And they weren't like, huh, I didn't just ride two stops and get off. It's been eight stops now. Well, okay, but okay, but we did we I did think about that because I was like, we've been on this train for a while, but it kept saying so there's Union Square, no, 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 and then there's no, no, Union Street. Union State. I didn't know that there was a difference. So I see Union ST, right? So I'm like, we're going in the right direction, although this feels weird. Why are we still on this train, right? But downtown showed versus uptown. Well, Union, Union ST. I'm thinking Union Station. Oh, man. So anyway, fortunately, she's stalking us. I'm stalking them, and I call Miles. Like, get 
off the train <laughs> right now. It's like, get off the train now. Because what if we didn't get off the train? What would have You would have been stuck in the underground tunnel for like five minutes. And then you'd pop out in Brooklyn. And if you were all the way to Union Street, that is not a good neighborhood for a little tourist family to wind up in. Anyway. <laughs> and we had dinner reservations. Yes. For like your birthday, birthday. For my birthday. We've been late. And we would have been late because, yeah. But I was with them all the other days, so they didn't get lost ever again. No, we didn't get lost ever again. Yeah. But that was, that was, that was, but we did good. They did pretty good. Up until but they that refused point. to use Google Maps. It's confusing as heck. It's Little tourist family, LOL, he says. Okay, there's somebody <laughs> watching on YouTube, actually. On YouTube? Yeah. How many things are you live on? I'm eating cheese and crackers right now because I didn't feel like cooking. Ha ha. I need wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you need wine with your cheese and crackers. At 9 a.m. Hey, why not? Why not? It's, it's the holidays. It's the holidays. So don't, don't judge. Happy birthday. You didn't get kidnapped. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We didn't get kidnapped. We didn't get kidnapped. But I did get accosted by a crazy lady not outside really. of was she that 34th Street? Yeah. She didn't outside of Macy's. She's not very aware of her surroundings. And we were going down to the station. I'm aware. I drag Anaya's arm to the other side of the stairs, obviously, because I see what's going on on the other side of the stairs. So I'm holding Anaya's hand, bring her that side of the stairs. Which I was Mom wondering. Goes, huh, I, was like, I wonder why they're going, going down that why side. Why is she going that way? But I just kept And then she goes this. down the other side. And there's a crazy lady on the other side yelling at everybody. And then she throws a cup of water. <clears throat> she threw a cup of ice water on me, you guys, yeah. on my nice jacket. But to be fair, it wasn't like a ton of water. So it was a not water. But but I turned around and I said she was to like, I wonder, I wonder why Frankie and I just randomly decided to switch to the other side and everybody else is walking to the other side. Well, it was funny because I, I didn't even know what was going on. I just knew I had ice water on me. And I looked back and there was this crazy lady, like her eyes were like bugged out. And I don't even know what she's saying. She's saying nonsense. Doesn't matter. And I'm cussing at her. And then this other lady is running by me. She's like, just keep going. Just keep walking. Yeah. I'm you like, can't... what is happening? It was yeah. very silly. But they, they, were, they, were, they were okay. They did an okay time in New York. Yeah. So another, another, um, and I've talked about this before, is the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. You can't be right there where they do the actual performances. No, it's supposed for like media. And stuff. Yeah. But they make it look like on TV, people are. Well, there's lots of people over there. People are. It's but just, you, it's not public. You can't just like go and say, I'm going to camp out here and watch. Yeah. No. Because they don't allow it. No. Probably for security reasons, but it was a pretty good spot. I thought it's fine. And um, my youngest daughter, she's actually not scared. She just was like pushing through people to get to the front, and like nice. which is not the best. No, to do. no, it's not. But hey, she's aggressive with it. That's not a good trait. But <laughs> all right. Okay, so give us give us a tip. So say people are watching and they've never been to New York. And they want to go to New York for the holidays. Give, them, give them a couple of New York. <laughs> just don't. Just don't go. No, seriously. They, they came during Thanksgiving, which was fine. And they were visiting somebody who lives there. So that was fine. So it was easier for them to get around. Christmas time, I you couldn't pay me to go to all the regular spots. You could not pay me to be midtown. It's awful. It is it's like bad. this. Seeds of people who don't know how to walk and don't know which way they're going. Lines that are probably hours long. Everything's more expensive. Don't go during Christmas. However, you could go around Thanksgiving. It was a little. It was a chill. It was. I mean, it, it was, was still, chill around Thanksgiving. It was still a lot of people, but it was chill because I'm seeing I'm seeing videos on TikTok right now, like people at the Rockefeller. Like it's like you're like it's like tight, right? You can't even move. Yeah. And they even said tight. like, I mean, would you say New Yorkers stay away from that area during the holidays? Like um, true New Yorkers, people that live there. Yeah. Don't don't go around Rockefeller. <clears throat> or like um honestly any midtown yeah any midtown around christmas is going to be really packed uh, but, but you but you showed us these cool spots like Un union square yeah union square does a fun holiday market that was cool um brian park also does a fun holiday thing we didn't make like, it to it's that it's more food oriented yeah. um we went to the rockettes the rock which was let's amazing talk, the the christmas spectacular we gotta talk about the rockettes um yeah, I'd never gone actually, but it's at Radio City. It was starting to get kind of dicey over there in terms of crowds, but it was pretty um, packed. But they run their Christmas spectacular like November and December, um, so you can go to see it during Thanksgiving. And 
Um, I don't know. I didn't have any expectations, but it was insane. It was amazing. The production value was through the roof. If you can go to Rockettes, highly recommend. Worth the money. Like even my son, who's eighteen. Oh, Miles is losing it. He was thinking, oh, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep the whole time. I'm taking naps. It's gonna be boring." The whole time he's like this. But to be fair, tickets are not too bad. Yeah. I mean, it's similar to a Broadway show, and it's like better than Broadway shows. Yeah, honestly, because we saw Wicked yeah. as well, which is a Broadway show. I actually, great. I actually preferred. Oh, I better get my charger. I actually preferred the Rockettes. Oh, me too. Which is weird. But to be fair, I've seen Wicked before. It's very much a family-friendly Broadway show. Um, so it's great. It's good production quality, but you just keep talking. I'm going to plug this in. Oh. I thought that we were. You had enough juice. But... And I don't have much to talk about, except for I'm very glad I won this competition. <laughs> And that's all I really cared about was winning this competition. I know. Why was mine so bad? <laughs> mine was really, really bad. Like it's just gross. It's got a weird flavor. I mean, was it the bourbon honey mixed with that? I don't know. Because Maybe. bourbon with like the citrusy flavor oh, probably it could not have been the bourbon honey. Because right. it seems like it was meant to be more of like a refreshing drink. You're right. Pomegranate, orange juice. Maybe the bourbon is what messed it up. Bourbon, bourbon, bourbon honey. Bourbon honey. honey. It's not real bourbon. It's bourbon honey. Yeah. Winning is all that matters. Travis says nice tunes, my dudes. Oh, you can hear it. Thank you. It's Boris Brecca. It's his Christmas mix from last year. This is a Christmas mix. And he's going to have one this year. <laughs> and then you add the bell. Released Christmas Eve. Huh? Oh, Boris Brecca releases a Christmas mix every Oh, really? Year. Where do you find that? YouTube? YouTube. But okay. he's releasing another one on the 24th at 4 a.m. Okay. What, if you're into tech. So, what's your favorite Christmas movie? All time favorite? That's hard, isn't it? That's a hard question. There's so many. Um, Love Actually. Love Actually is a good one. Yeah. I always cry at the end. I don't know why. What's the one? What's yours? Um, Elf. Yeah, Elf is I a good one. Elf. I also love It's a Wonderful Life. That one's so boring nowadays. Uh, no, it's not. Very dated. I know, but it's so good. And A Christmas Carol. Those are all good ones. Sarah said, nice. Can we do a live stream for the Boris Christmas stream? Mm. <gasps> well, you have to be awake at 4 a.m. And then we can, we do, can it. do that. Please. She she cannot be up at 4 a.m. unless she wakes up at 4 a.m. I can do it. I got up at 4.45 this morning That's what I just to go to spin class. You can't be up at 4 a.m. unless you're waking up at 4 a.m. You're not going to stay up till 4. Who says I have to stay up till 4? It's here. It's a live stream. That's when it gets released as a live stream. At four in the morning. Oh, what? I just get up at four. Okay. Okay. Right. Actually, it might be ET, so maybe it'll actually not be too bad here. Like two. Two in the morning? It depends on if it's Eastern time. Or oh. Mountain time. That'd be kind of cool. Well, you gotta, she has to train herself because she's coming to EC with us. Oh my gosh, you guys! So she has to start training. We got we got to start training her to stay up late. So I don't know what I was thinking when I signed up for this. I was thinking, oh yeah, I could do this. It's so tell tell me about what EDC is for those that don't know. Oh, um, Electric Daisy Carnival. They have a few different locations, but we go to the one in Vegas. Um, it's every May, and it they do it on like the Las Vegas Motor Speedway track, and have like ten plus stages. They bring lots of different EDM artists. Um, like house, hard style, techno, whatever. Um, and we do camp, so we camp out actually, like on the ground, and they do stuff on the campsite as well, like shows. Um, but it goes from like 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. for three days. And then we have, <laughs> uh, and, then, and then camp has afters that go till 10. Um, and like pool parties and stuff. We don't do the after still 10 typically. Wait, there's pool crazy. parties? They yeah. Should, I need to bring a swimsuit? Yeah, you need to bring a swimsuit. We don't necessarily go to the pool parties because there's usually a line. Wait, but... how's there a pool party? Where they put the pool? At camp. Like a like a above ground pool? Yeah, at camp. Ooh, I don't think I want any action in that. Pool oh, body in that. That's what I'm saying. Probably not. But for mm. the day parties, mm. we still wear swimsuits then because it's so hot. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely have to shed about ten more pounds for right Shut here. up. <laughs> oh my god. Well anyway. <laughs> oh Giza, I wonder if Tammy would go to that. She probably oh, would. Yeah. she goes to Burning Man. It's slight I mean it's slightly different vibes. <laughs> um 
than Burning Man, but it's it's yeah, kind of cool. Similar, the, though, right? Yeah, you go to camp there. It's, well, well it's very there, it's very like easy <clears throat> camping. They give you like a glamping. Uh, I would not say it's easy though. Compared Vegas, to Burning Man in the easy Vegas camping. heat, you got to be out there in the heat. That's that. Okay, yeah. so that's that's part that gives me the most anxiety is that. There's no air conditioning. They put an AC unit in there. But I heard but they don't work that But day. I have an idea for next time that will probably help. But like those fan misters? Well, yeah, we have fan misters. But if you put, like, the thermal blankets, the emergency blankets on the outside, it reflects the sun uh, outward. Oh, uh, smart. So I'm going to try that next time. That's but nice. um, you should prepare to have hardly any sleep anyway. I think I had eight hours the whole weekend. So you guys. Last time. <laughs> I don't again I don't know what I was thinking when I signed up midlife crisis midlife maybe crisis. maybe but like I'm in bed by 9 30 every night like I am I am sleeping Sarah said wait EDC isn't a business conference <laughs> you've been Sarah you've been whatever Sarah but I I mean I'm staying up late at conferences <laughs> yeah <laughs> so pray for me you guys as I do this but the nice I, thing though is that I we are high anxiety we it. are camping so if you get tired at the festival you literally just walk like 10 minutes yeah to camp. but you know me i have serious fomo like i'm gonna feel like i'm missing out if I'm you just will be missing in out tent if you're myself. in the tent by yourself so i'm just gonna have to bring a lot of celsius or red bulls we always buy like a huge pack oh boom of there you go energy drink because i'm gonna energy. just just cooler keep, you know what i'm gonna do you guys i'm gonna get a camel back strap it to my back is there one where you can have dual like one side is energy drink and be one disgusting. side's water could you do that that would be disgusting travis you would know like a camel back that has dual you'll want a hydro because then i can drink water drink an energy drink drink water i have an old that's hydro brilliant pack. no it's disgusting i'm sure it's i hard. have an old hydro pack you can use if you want i'm sure it exists <laughs> but be great, they have though. restrictions yeah. sarah, sarah believes in me well sarah will be with um, but anyway, there are, there are restrictions on the bag, but you can bring We're a hydro pack. Oh, speaking of Unsen, does anybody remember the electric slide? The damn shit electric you slide. You asked that to Miles yesterday. I know. Out of nowhere. Yeah, well, it's from what, the 80s or 90s? 90s. 90s. I don't know. It was uh, anyway, I got to relearn this thing because I got to start it off at the social media conference. We're going to do the electric slide at the party it's a 90s thing party and i have to start it so i have to teach myself but i kind of remember it it's like i remember this part where you gotta you know you go down like that and then you go boop, 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 like that right does anybody remember it <laughs> i don't think so. i know it's beyond your time sarah said worst case scenario i'll pack the red bull you back <laughs> oh okay there you go you can't take it in though you have to buy Why? their dumb ghost what drinks you can bring you can bring a can uh, a hydro pack, but it has to have water in it. Oh, Actually, you can't have water in it when you go to security. What? You have to fill it up at their water station. Because people can put like vodka in it. Well, what do you if you have um, sugar restrictions and you can't drink? Do they have no sugar? She says boo. I know boo. I don't know, but they stopped partnering with Red Bull and now they partner with Ghost Energy Drink. Ugh, I don't like Ghost Energy yeah. Drink. Nobody does. But it's kind of like that's how you just put you just drink a lot of energy drinks before you go in. Uh, YouTube, ha Drums for Life. Have you ever had Swiss cheese and apple slices? Such a good combination. I don't think I have had that combination. Have you? Swiss Never cheese had. and apple? I don't really like Swiss cheese. Like, are you eating it together? Or are you going Swiss, apple? Or are you wrapping it around? There are much better cheeses than Swiss in the world. Yeah, Swiss doesn't taste like anything. I don't like Swiss. Like mm. a sharp cheddar, Gouda, but maybe just an apple, apple is good. Mm. I don't know. Gouda and apple. We got like good. how many more minutes till we should try to reach the hour? We got three more minutes. Does anybody have any questions for us? The electric slide, heck yes, YouTube guy. <laughs> heck yes, that YouTube guy. Sarah's had it. Sarah likes it. Had what? Swiss cheese and apple slices. Oh, has she? No, I don't think. No, I don't like that. I think she was just saying, yay. You Brie, Brie and apples. Steph says, hey, Steph, how's it going? Um, yeah, Brie and apples. That, now that sounds like a good combo. Um, I'm, I'm making sure. a charcuterie for it on Christmas. We probably didn't make you proud making these cocktails. I made a good cocktail, so I don't want to hear it. I won. 
and I would have she, it again. She she made um, cocktails at our white pan lounge mocktails. They were actually really, really good. She yeah. had like a white oh. Russian. I wish you could have tasted mine because it was. Hers was good. Really, really good. But hers actually had alcohol in it. Mine, so she couldn't taste Mine it. was terrible. This is what mine looks like. And it looks horrible and it tastes horrible. It doesn't look worse, but like it definitely looks interesting. What do you have a picture of what it was supposed to look like? Uh on my phone. Where did you find it? TikTok? I'm here for the drinks. LOL. Yes. <laughs> actually imported H Swiss. Oh, well, if it's imported, then it probably tastes really good. Huh. Christmas question asking for a friend. Do you guys know the electric What? <laughs> Christmas question asking for a friend. Do you guys know the electric slide? <laughs> did you send it to me on TikTok? I'd like to see how it's supposed to look. I did. I did right. send it. It was the person I sent yesterday. That? You're kidding. No, it's not. It. No, it's not. I know. See? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, oh, no, no. Okay. Not that one. This that one? one. It does not look like that. Oh, wow. Why does mine not look pink? Oh, wow. See, okay, on TikTok, it looks pink and it's pretty. Mine looks like muddy water. Oh, wow. What the heck did I do wrong? Because you were supposed to top it with spreads, not mix it in the mixture with. with oh, see? You gotta follow directions. That's what she <laughs> she's questioning me and the steps I was taking. That's how hers was supposed to look. Please hold. I would like to publicly it's, shame you. It, oh yeah, oh, that's bad. bad. It's, it's look at that. It's uh, <laughs> it did wrong, but it still shouldn't affect the color. Yes, it should. Uh, like it's like if you were trying to make a vodka or like a a sunrise, right? And um, if you were just mixing them together, you're not going to get the same effect. Travis said, you're a loose cannon, Bill. Boy, don't I know it. <laughs> she was like, top it off with spritz. All right. I'll shake it every day. I don't, I don't pay attention to detail. That's why I, I need a C or an S in my life. Oh, what? that has attention to detail. The disc what are you profile. talking about? The disc profile. What is a C or S? The C and the S are more like analytical, detail oriented, and I'm just like, well, that's me. Go. I am analytical and detail oriented. See, there you go. Um, you said CS, and I thought you were talking about code or programming or whatever. But code. I need a CRS in my life. Why would I ever talk about? Coding? I don't know. Programming. Think, well, so are you talking about CS for? But anyway. Well, should we end it now? <laughs> we've, it? Gone, we've gone an hour, unless anybody has any comments or questions or anything else. Probably just, what are we doing today, by the way? Oh, I have a whole itinerary. Are we going to the holiday lights? Give me a moment. Have you guys I been to the there. holiday lights in Billings yet? At the zoo? We went last year. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So, well, what time are you picking up an So, today, we're going to get our gingerbread houses done. Oh, shoot. And then. Do you like? It sounds like we're the like the elf movie. He's like, we're gonna make gingerbread houses, and we're gonna <laughs> and, and we're gonna snuggle. And Saturday, we were candy going to go downtown and drive around a little bit, like, and I was going to make my feta pasta. Um, Christmas Eve, we have to go to that Christmas Eve party. Um, and then I was going to make a charcuterie board at night, and we're gonna do games. And then Monday, obviously Christmas, and I have to make my mac and cheese. So then I also have a grocery list. So we have to go grocery shopping at some point as well. Ah, oh, she's dancing. I don't want to go to the grocery store. I can go with Miles. Thank you. Okay. I'm Perfect. done with the grocery store. Zoo was good, but it needs to yeah. You know what? We got a it cool is. vibe. We got a really cool vibe going right now. I feel like we're at a club. Right? Oh like, I feel like we need, like, the Travis knows, like, DJ things. What do we call that? controller? I don't know. <laughs> What do you call that, Travis? The wicked, 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 wicked. A controller. See the little knobs. That would be a controller, my friend. Zoo is good, but it needs snow. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, we're right yeah, we don't have snow. If you're watching and you have snow, let me know. Hey, that rhymes. But I heard that uh, nobody's getting snow this year. Well, I should grab my rave glasses. Hold I on, stole yours. I'm gonna grab. Hold on. We'll end it with our rave glasses. Stole my mother's. Mixer grandma. He called you a grandma. Who called you grandma? Travis. <gasps> Them are fighting Yours words. Are dirty. Your sunglasses are Them dirty. Them are fighting words. Travis. Got my goggles. I'm ready to go. It looks like ski. Ski. 
<laughs> anyway, these are my rave glasses that I bought for EDC because that way I don't get sick from all the lights. Look how cool. What did you get? Yours? My actual. Yours were dirty. I don't know what you had on there. Oh, yeah. It doesn't surprise me. Well, I'm going to go make the big this tree. Look. Another one of the one he actually liked. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for your comments. A Wicca 3000, sir. <laughs> What's a Wicca 3000? Because you were going, you were oh, oh, a Wicca, 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 Wicca. I don't know why that is in my head, but it sounds like that. Wicca, Wicca, Wicca. All right. We're going to end this because we're just jabbering on now. Uh, Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, right. uh, Sadaf, Drums for Life, um, Travis. Sarah, Grandma, Diane, who else? Suzanne, Tracy. Thank you all for watching. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Call me Happy grandma. holidays. Just remember, you're always older than me, pal. Just remember that. <laughs> all right. Throw him. I feel like we're going to list it out. I'm not doing that. Come on. Just do a little bit. That's do, okay. Just, I'm going to take a rain check. Do a little bit of a robot. That's okay. You can do the robot. I only need one person doing the robot. Is this how I dance at the rapes? If you want, you can dance however you want. How do I? Very excellent. How do you dance at rapes? However you want. Whatever feels like right. this. Is that what people do? <laughs> if that's what you want to do, then you do that. There's no there's no rules. There's no like rave dance. There's like no a, rules. Like a line dance or something. Oh, God, there's not a line how dance. About this? Sure, why not? A Carlton. It's like a slow version of a Carlton. You can you dance whatever you want to dance. <laughs> right. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Happy holidays.